Good morning, ladies and gents. How are we all doing today? Hope we're well. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get into it. Uh, we're on to episode 11. And today we're going over to Latvia. And, of course, when I say we, of course, Adam is with us as well. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, everyone. Okay, Adam's here, and I'm just going to refresh the route plan. There it is. Today, obviously, we're in the uh, A319, just for something different. Um, so, yeah. Quite a nice looking livery on this one. It's part of the Star Alliance. So, yeah. Quite a nice, quite a nice livery, I must admit. I, I do quite like this one. So, um, let me just pull up my stream elements as just the sounds. There we go, so I can turn down certain sounds. Um, there we go. Cool, right, let's do this. Um, so yeah, Adam is over there, it's the Ryanair, but we'll go past Adam on our way to the runway, I think. Uh, yeah, it should do. Yeah, it should do, cool. Alright, let's load up the uh, Navigraph. Don't know where I'm actually driving to. Taxiing to. Cool. Holding point is just by me. Pretty much. Cool. Well, we don't need a pushback to help today, so that's always a bonus. Um, so, yeah, just gonna start and get underway so parking brake can come off and uh, off we go Okay, we're just taxiing out now. Um, you can hear whatever you're watching, Paul, by oh, the way. Oh, I know, I've just killed it. <laughs> it's for a, a future idea for a future stream, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to use that plane yet. I might wait for them to update it because it sounds like it still needs work. Yeah. The level up one that I was discussing with you earlier. Oh yeah. I think it's still very much a work in progress. Good morning, Adam. Look, part top over there, guys. have the uh, Terra 4 installed, by the way. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It was about £12, pounds, something like that. I knew it wasn't much for what it does, which is it, just globally, it just enhances the look. I don't know where you're going, by the way. Well, I'm following the Navigraph charts, and, <laughs> you know, apparently, according to this, there's an entrance to the runway, but clearly there isn't. So, that's different. You just wanted to go around me. <laughs> that's, that's literally what it looks like I've done. <laughs> I'm seriously not kidding. On my Navigraph charts, so this airport is very much... Out of date, yeah. Out of date. Because <laughs> according to Navigraph charts, there's an entrance there, and there clearly isn't one. It's, uh, 
it's Zulu. Taxiway Zulu that takes you out to the holding point. All right. Huh? 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 Well, they obviously don't like Zulus in the next plane. Nope. No Zulu warriors here. So we'll go out this way instead, which... Oh, it's it's a runway, though. Is it going to be a... Yeah, because this... Again, there should be a left-hand turn here onto Foxtrot. I've literally just apparently driven across grass. <laughs> I continued to drive across the car. In case you guys think I'm actually losing my brain cells, which wouldn't surprise me. Look at this, look. This this is the map that obviously we follow. And it clearly indicates one, that nine. you know, there should be a run there should be a taxiway that went off that way, which there wasn't. An entrance this way, which there wasn't. And now we've just cut across apparently grass. So. It's a classic case of uh, driving into the lake, uh, Mr. Off, because the fact that told me to. Yeah, exactly, exactly. One, exactly. Nine. exactly. Starting to question whether I was even on the right airport. Right, cool. Right, let's just make sure everything looks good. We're actually only going to go to 20,000, so let me just adjust that. I'll adjust that when we get in the climb. Everything looks good, flaps set. Set that. That's all good. Everything looks good. Let's uh, ready to depart. Are you ready? I'm ready. I see you're ready. Cool. Okay. Throttle back. And Togi. Yeah. Indeed, sir, indeed. It's a short runway. All right, landing gear could come up. to autopilot, get it into climb mode. Lux can come in. <coughs> sort that out. Uh, do you want to hang out until I tell I've gone round the bend? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just a bit of space. So what we'll do guys, we'll do what we did the other day is I'll hop to Adam's plane when I start doing the bend and um, we can watch as he makes his turn, uh, takes off. Just waiting for the turn to come. up to it now. There we go. We'll just go quickly outside to watch the turn. Cure edge can come over to standard. that plane's a lot quicker than mine. Yeah. Right. We're focused on you. Off you go. Okay. So we've hopped over to Adam's plane now to watch his takeoff. There are limitations with this little add-on, which is that his planes don't, his, his wheels don't look right, but, you know. There we go. <laughs> Still looks better than nothing. Togi. Yeah. 
very nice takeoff that was indeed. Whoa, pitching up there. Yep. Extra pitchy upness. What the flight director's telling me. 20 yep. degrees, bank angle. Pitching down now. It's amazing how quick really these planes do this stuff. Right, cool. We're back in our plane now. We've watched the takeoffs. And we're heading to Latvia. Now, this is an incredibly, incredibly short flight, guys. So, it's possible we might land and then go on to the next airport because it's so short. Um, so that's something we're seriously thinking about. Uh, yeah, literally, you get to the top of descent, uh, top of climb, two waypoints, and you're descending. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, where did you say that we had to go after? Uh, we need to go to Estonia, another short hop. Okay. Which is north, is it? Yeah. Is it Tallinn? Uh, yeah, we can go there. If yeah, that's so in Estonia. Yeah. <laughs> My <laughs> Estonian geography is not fantastic. It truly is. So what we'll do then, we'll do a turnaround at Riga and go off to Estonia. So you get two flights for the price of one. Nice. And then we're going to have a bit of a dilemma. Because we will have run out of countries this area. Amazingly. All right, we just have to do a bit of a longer flight for the next one down to uh, somewhere. Yeah. Because uh, we've done Poland. So that's still Warsaw. Yeah, we went out of order a bit. We should have done... Estonia, then Latvia, then Lithuania after. So Russia. what? What if, for the next one, we do Latvia to Germany? You mean Estonia to Germany? Sorry, yeah, Estonia. Yeah. To Germany, in, yeah. in something, that's a bit of a long distance one. Yeah. Yeah, we could so, do the three fifty. Or, we could do the 787. 787, yeah. Um, yeah, sounds good. We'll have to work out the flight time for the next video to see how long it'll end up being. And then what I might do is cut out a bit of the journey. Um, on that next video if it's going to be quite long but it's the only way we're going to get this done is we'll occasionally have to jump across countries we've already visited it was, yeah there's no two ways about it there's no way you're going to get around them all they don't we can't literally bounce from one to the next one to the next one without having been to some that go across as it were so yeah we'll just have to do that okay we're reaching our climb level already yeah I'm at cruise altitude now <laughs> okay so doesn't take long in this right cool so the next thing is let's start planning our next on so we've got runway 18 we're coming into on this one and then from here Evra we're going down to uh, no we're gonna go up to um, Estonia. So, is there an airport? All I'm seeing is EETT. -E is that an airport? Or is that the oh, area? Okay. I will. Do you want to see if you find us an airport in Estonia? Yes. So it's E E T N. E. 
E T N. Yeah. Okay. So we will go on to that one. Cool. The alternate airport is back where we came from. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite funny, but it's the same with Dublin to Manchester. The alternative airports are Dublin or Manchester. Yeah. Because they're just so short. I got a message the other day that said, you do realise the Isle of Man is technically its own country. Yeah, it is. And yeah, it never got done when we did the UK. No. Um, but we haven't done Iceland yet, so... We could do, yeah, Iceland's down. When we, that'll probably be one of the last countries we do. So we'll just have to add it to the touch-up list. <laughs> do we, Iceland we down to I Iceland. We haven't done Ireland, have we? Mm -hmm. We did, yeah. That was one of the early oh, okay. ones. I think it was... Uh. Before you jumped on, I did Scotland to Dublin. Uh, I think that was episode one. Well, we could do Isle of Man to Iceland, isn't it? The other way round, probably. Iceland down to the Isle of Man. Yeah. Your favourite island. Well, the Isle of Man. I've never landed yeah. there. I've taken off there. Never actually landed there. Unless you're referencing something else and... I, I am, too, yes. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and I was just too slow to get it. Duh. Duh. It's Monday morning. Yes, guys, you'll probably be seeing this on Sunday, but we're recording it on Monday. I think if that's... Could be we're that far ahead now. But, um... It could even be... It could even be next Wednesday's video. <laughs> we've already got three coming out this week so that's correct Tuesday Thursday and Sunday's videos yeah so this is next Tuesday's video week Tuesday you'll be seeing this video oh bloody hell really <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> yeah oh no <coughs> Right, let's have a look at my approach. Put in my uh, ILS deets because I'm in a Boeing, not an Airbus. Yep, the Airbus pretty much just does everything for you. The only thing it does. Yeah, the only thing it doesn't do is it tells you when to descend. It doesn't tell you how to descend. <laughs> <laughs> so at least it tells you got a top of descent. It just doesn't tell you by how much. So. The only thing you can do with this plane is go, okay, so this is where we're coming to, and then from there, uh, work out what is the ILS heading height. So let's open the head, open the charts. So we're approaching ILS 18 Zulu, which gives us an altitude of 2,500. So then I will come across, set the altitude to 2,500. And then when I'm reached top of descent, just literally hit the button and then uh, let the plane do its thing. Top of descent just disappeared, so <laughs> That's helpful. I'm just going to hit it now. We were close enough. And she's descending. Proceed. So 
that's on a managed decline now. Distance 91 miles. So, you should descend at the appropriate amount. So let me get the Q&H for where we're going. Q&H uh, is 1017. Temperature is balmy 2 degrees. Wind speeds are 141 at 2 knots. It's good. And we're going to take a config 3 approach. Which is fine. So that gives us our V speeds down. Clean at 202, 182 and 145. With a V at, at 138. So that's all sorted. Cool. So just looking at the maps, Evra one between flight level 130 and 100, max speed 250 knots. And then we're going to come round, round back of Riga and then come in to the left of Riga. Cool. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You on dock the radar about uh, almost thirty well about thirty miles in front of me. Thirty miles in front of you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't hanging around knowing how quick your plane is. Like a tramp on chips this. <laughs> And Adam saying at the day <laughs> is <laughs> I'm trying to think in uh, Germany. Trying to think what's the best airport to go to because obviously with Germany we could spoil for choices somewhat. Uh, EDDF probably, which will be Frankfurt. From there, we can work out how long that flight's actually going to be. Um, let's have a look. I think I'm going to just have a look at that flight time. Now I'm going to put it as if we're in a A350. Okay. See what it comes up at flight time. It's a two and a half hour flight, so it's going to be about two hours that flight. Yeah, that's fine.
whacking them out. What we discussed before the video about my uh, trip out for lunch yesterday. Yeah, that's still giving me an issue. Ooh. Yeah. Right. So by my reckoning, we should definitely have slowed down by now. I know it is slowing down, but. I've slowed down to 250 so I don't catch you up. Okay. Alright, we on the speed brakes to help the plane just slow down. Just keeping an eye on this so. RA628 RA628 yeah, We're doing alright at the moment Light level 10,000, that's fine, we're doing alright so far There is a little green dot and as long as we're following that green dot down we're fine There we go, so we've got our speed down and we're all good We're doing good. We're doing good. Right. Let's have a little cheeky flyby. Because why not? Guess who forgot to file a flight plan, people? You mean both of us? No, just you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rogue. Look under the plane. I'll be, I'll be expecting a visit. There you go, Eddie. That's the uh, error of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah. Checklist incomplete. <laughs> Imagine if someone actually simulated coming up after you. <laughs> Suddenly having a jet of some description coming after you saying, what is your, state your intentions. <laughs> oh, I yeah. just, my intention is to land. <laughs> I just forgot to form my flight plan. E45 from left hander straight away. Yep. Sacked. Very blue. Right, have we got the next fleet? I because we might as well kill some time before we get here. So let's sort out where we're going from. So E V R A to E-E-T-N 
flight time of another 40 minute flight at maximum 40 minute flight on that one as well um, so again 18 in out and 26 arrival on that one and we'll go ahead and generate that coolios oh coolios couple of little sectors for you guys today very lucky guys getting a couple of sectors mm. Okay, just keep an eye on this thing as we have been caught out before. It hasn't descended in time, as you can see the green dot is not where it should be. So, in this case it's because of the speed. If the speed is not right, if you're not tracking down the speed, it won't descend at the correct amounts. So, down to 210, speed brakes can come on. Just to slow the line down, and then look, the dot comes in. Just going to reach the 7,000 that we were looking for by the turn. Oh, it's tracking down quite nicely. And we'll stay at this now until we go to 138. So, doing alright. Right. We're doing good. We're doing real good. Following it down nicely. I took off in the 758 last night, 758, 787. Yeah. Doing a test flight in that plane and uh, tail strike tip. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I thought so. What, on landing or takeoff? Takeoff. I never landed <laughs> it. I, <laughs> I never landed it. I just left it there. 
How did you do a tail strike on takeoff? You must have like. I pulled up, a bit, obviously just pulled Altimeter up a bit. Receding. Just a bit too keen. That's she says. Yeah. That's all I can say. Uh, QH is 1007. Okay, we're doing all right, so let's drop it back down to 200. Got a 34 knot crosswind. On, land, on, on landing, we've got a wind at 180 at 14 knots. So that should be fun for us, shouldn't it? Right, uh, we'll go with medium brakes on this one. Just because we don't know the airport. up to the desired heading and altitude so we're doing good plane is descending very nicely we're within tolerance coming up to the final turn now guys okay Speed can now come down to 160. First stage of flaps coming in. Speed brake just to help the plane come in. Flaps two. On the approach. Ten miles out, runway in sight. RLS is locked. We can do away with this now. Just turn up the sounds a bit for you guys because I know it is a little bit quiet today in here. I usually work it out from the meters. Okay, speed down to 138, that is our landing speed. We'll go flaps 3 and uh, we will chop out to put the landing gear down. See, we are crabbing quite a lot on this flight. Okay, we're descending with the glide path. Everything's looking good. Let's get the landing lights on. That looks good. Seatbelt signs are all on. And we will start our descent. Going to be a bit of a crabby one. Too red, too white. We're doing all right. So 
there we go guys if you've enjoyed this video to subscribe that would be really cool and smash the like button as well guys that would be really good as well see if we can get 500 likes on this video The Q&H is 1007. Correct. Okay. Okay, blade's towing itself to line up with the runway. Wind speeds are dropping. and check. Okay. My plane. Maintaining two I'm red. Watching. I'll get the brakes off, hold on. guys the brakes are very sticky on this plane really isn't very much at Riga Shall we, guys? How you getting on, Adam? Right, I'm about ten miles out. No, okay. five miles out. Sorry. Got your lights up. See ya.
drives a taxi to the runway uh, terminal as quickly as possible. We can watch you land. Just gonna cut a corner off here guys so we can watch Adam land. Baltic air everywhere here. Very short and stubby 737s. Though. These are very short 737s I'm seeing here. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Cool. Did it. Right, quickly jump over to Adam's plane. There it is. See Adam coming in. That was good timing. With his caster wheels. reason my ILS did not work. <laughs> did you tune both both ILSs and do the headings? Yeah, did Horses. all that. Yeah. Maybe you just inter didn't intercept it in time. If you, yeah, if you, I, was, if, I was quite high for some reason. I don't know why I was high, but I was. Yeah, if you don't intercept it at the right angle, it won't in, it won't work. So I'm coming in my way. Yeah, would explain why we're seeing some interesting pitching and swaying. Going around. No, I am not going. <laughs> I should do, but I'm not. Oh. Have you touched down yet? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's just the angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going all fine. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Just go to the end of the runway and turn in. <laughs> Welcome to Latvia, Adam. Cool. So Adam's landed. So we're all good there. All sorted. Let's clean up the plane. Get our flappers in. Um, I'll do the replay guys it wasn't wasn't in my opinion a happy landing but I'll do the replay so you can see it and then uh, let me have a look how long we've been let me just check the recording time on this one oh it's 49 minutes I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna upload this video as it is I'll do the next section to the next bit on the next flight on the next video All right, let's have a look at this so oh, Yeah, I got down to seven thousand and then for some reason the plane just did not want to get down to three thousand from there. They were trying to slow down. I always think it's about how you prepare the plane. You know, it's just not, not your fault if it, if it wasn't following it in properly, but... Well, prepare the plane. I mean, like, firing the flight. Yeah. 
was going to be bad in the end. I thought it was going to look worse than it was. Well, I didn't go off the end of the runway and I landed, so... That's a bonus for you. Yeah. You, I'm guessing you're going to take that. I'm still getting used to this plane, so you 320. Right. Oh. Just get a towel view, guys. guys so welcome to Latvia and thank you for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it and I'll me and Adam will catch you on the next one because we're gonna be doing it right now afterwards so we'll catch you in a little while goals see you on the next video Yeah, I'm going to do it as a...